Good morning, everybody. This is 2 Timothy 2, verse 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Paul has been saying that he suffers, suffers trouble as an evildoer, even to the point of chains. But he has done nothing wrong. He is suffering because he insists on living for Christ and preaching the word of God. Like Jesus, Paul is enduring things for the sake of others. Jesus endured the cross, despising the shame of it. Why? Hebrews 12 tells us it was for the joy set before him. But what was that joy? Was it merely that he returned to heaven and once more enjoy glory and intimacy with the Father and the Spirit, no longer troubled by the burden of physically living in this world? If that were it, he need never have left that glory in the first place. Surely the joy that was in Jesus' mind was the joy of seeing his chosen ones obtain salvation with eternal glory. He is thinking of them, not of himself. That is why he endured the cross. The life and nature of Jesus is being reproduced in Paul. He also is not thinking of himself, but of others in all that he is living for. Perhaps many, if if not almost all parents, know what it is to endure things for the sake of their children and their grandchildren if they are old enough. How often have we suffered distress and pain on, on their behalf? This enduring grief for others is a part of human life. In particular, for those of us who are followers of Jesus, like Paul, we are to allow the, the life of Jesus to be manifested in our mortal flesh, even if it means, as Paul put it in 2 Corinthians 4.12, death is working in us, but life in others whom we are concerned for. Our joy and rejoicing is to see others, God's chosen ones, ones we love, doing well in Christ. Amen. Have a great day.